Hi, my name is Michal and in this video I will walk you through how to test Advanced Event Mesh using INT4 Suite. Advanced Event Mesh is part of SAP Integration Suite, offering event streaming, management and monitoring for event-driven scenarios. With INT4 Suite, you can test the communication with Event Mesh, visualize events and collect data from topics or queues. The goal of this demo is to highlight the key capabilities of INT4 Suite for Advanced Event Mesh by setting up a simple scenario involving both inbound and outbound events. Let's dive into INT4 Suite and first access the Automation Object style to look at the setup for managing events. Automation objects are the building blocks we'll reuse later to simulate the entire scenario. First, we'll examine the object dedicated to the inbound event. After selecting the object, we enter a detailed screen where we configure a few essential parameters for virtualizing events as if they were sent from the original system. The first parameter is the message VPN, which can be entered manually or imported from the AEM. Next, we choose whether the event will be posted to a queue or a topic. Depending on the choice, we define the corresponding queue or topic details. This, too, can be either entered manually or fetched automatically from the AEM. That's it for configuring the automation object for inbound communication. Next, we return to the list of objects and open the one for the outbound event. This screen is quite similar to the inbound setup with options to define the message VPN, queues or topics. While we could configure additional options like payload validation, we'll keep this thing simple for this demo. Now that the configuration is complete, we can return to the main INT4 suite screen and open the cockpit tile. The cockpit has two main sections. On the left, we can browse folders for different scenarios. And on the right, we can see the test cases created for our advanced event mesh scenario. Our scenario involves two steps. First, virtualizing the source system and injecting an event into AEM. And second, validating the outbound event triggered as a result of the first step. As you can see, the automation objects we set up earlier are being used here. Now we are ready to test. I will click on Execute All and confirm in the pop-up. In a new tab, INT4 will run the test. After a moment, we will see details of the test run, including the execution time and environment, among others. Scrolling down, we can inspect the test cases. By clicking on the first one, we will see a detailed view, including a confirmation that the message was successfully posted to the selected topic. Now, we move to the second test case by clicking the arrow in the top right corner. Here, we can review more information and even compare payloads, confirming that INT4 successfully validated the outbound message, comparing it to the reference one. That concludes our simple test. If needed, we can repeat this execution or fetch fresh events from AEM to test different datasets. Please keep in mind that INT4 AEM support is just a small piece of all the technology supported by INT4 Suite, which means that the steps we configured in this video can be included in more complex scenarios, allowing INT4 Suite to validate a wide range of use cases, including integration with other platforms. I hope this video was helpful and gave you a clear overview of how INT4 Suite can be used for advanced event mesh scenarios. Thanks for watching.